Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we'll be showing you how to remove and replace the serpentine belt on this 2002 um, GMC Sierra. process is the same for many 99 to 07 um, GMC and Chevy trucks with the 4.8, 5.3 and 6.0 liter engines. Only tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver and a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet. First you'll want to move your intake hose um, by removing or loosening two clamps, one there and one there. Okay, and we're going to kind of speed up through this part here. Um, use your screwdriver to kind of pry in, break the rubber loose from the plastic, uh, maybe twist it a little bit as well, and then pull it from the throttle body uh, and also pry. There's a little clip that holds the radiator hose in. Pry that out with your screwdriver as well. And then I'll install it back on my intake hose okay, to make it easier for later. Okay, so now you can see your tension is right here. So what you're going to do is take a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and put the socket on there. Okay, and then that takes the, you just move the, the ratchet clockwise and that takes the tension off. You can pull the belt either off of your tensioner or I'm actually over here pulling it off of uh, the idler pulley in the middle. Okay, and then slowly release this back. It's going to actually go back further than um, the original point. Okay, and I'll get your wrench back off. Okay, now your belt um, winds around all the pulleys. Okay, and down around the crank pulley. Once you pull it off, you pull it right up and out. Okay, to put the belt back on, what you want to find is your routing diagram. Um, we're going to be using this one right here. And so the solid belt is the one that we're going to be looking at. And what you're going to do is actually feed it down and around your crank pulley first, then up and over your water pump around your power steering and then up in here and then you'll pull uh, what I usually do is pull on here and then pull it up onto the alternator um, so I'll kind of show you that can't really film it very well so you have to take okay and I, of course I can't really film it that well so you kind of have to take my word for it that that's what I'm doing so you can take your belt, feed it down, feed it down, and just kind of make a loop, make sure it goes all the way around the crank pulley, okay, up over the water pump here, and down and around power steering pump okay so first I went down around my crank pulley up and around the water pump with the back side of the belt then around the power steering pump Okay, and so now I have uh, this part that I can hold to put onto the alternator. I'm going to set it there for a second. Okay. Take my socket, put it on my 15 millimeter bolt on my tensioner. Okay, and then while I pull this way, 
There's a tensioner. Take the belt and pull it up and onto the alternator. Okay, and then the tensioner takes over. And I'm just going to push it on a little more to my idler pulley here. Okay. okay, so after you have the belt on, just a quick check, make sure it's on all the pulleys, um, look way down at the crank pulley, and make sure that it's on correctly down there, and also obviously over here, the alternator, and the power steering pulley. Uh, everything looks good. Okay, and we're going to fast forward through this section, which is just putting that uh, tube back in, basically, and uh, pushing the rubber onto the plastic, tightening up the clamps, and reinstalling that little clip that held the radiator hose to it. And after that, you should be pretty much all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.